Hi, this is Charlie giving you Friday's live trading. Hope you're very well. We're going to short the euro right here. And the reason I'm talking fast is because I've been mucking around with the guys in the trading room and I've got two units off now. Um, and um, I was trying to get the recording started and I had the giggle fits. This is my third attempt because I was giggling um, because the very first attempt I, I, I didn't start speaking for about five seconds. So anyway, um, just gone short here on the euro dollar. It's come up into my upper bands on the hourly chart. I'm looking for a little bit of a pullback here this morning to around about 118.13. This is not going to be a scalp here this morning for the first half down to 118.13. I'm going to pop a stop up at 28. And we're going to, and then we'll see if the second half can run further. So I'm just, I've got the two units here. I'm just going to put some stops in on this. Uh, 118.28. Um, just doing the stops. 118.28. Um, if I put the stops in at 28, that means I'd get stopped out at 29. So effectively, it's like a 29, a stop at 29. Sorry. So that's where I'm at. So I've just stopped. Uh, I haven't stopped anything. I've just shorted the euro. It is what time is it? Just about 10 past eight or so. Yeah. Um, it's hit my upper bands here on the hourly charts. It's a bit of a cheeky one. We've got a, quite a lot of thick negative, what I call negative momentum here this morning at the moment. But don't get me wrong, the, um, the euro's had a nice bounce off its hourly 50 here, uh, the white line. So, um, you know, a little bit of conflict. That's why I'm just putting a couple of units in and we're going to see what happens. I've shorted them at around about 20, 21, didn't I? What levels were they? 21.7 and 28. Um, so, um, um, nice and tight. Um, and um, we'll see if um, we can get a bit of a rollover. And now what I'll do, and the reason I said about 13 would be the first target, and I said, oh, it's a bit, so it's a bit of a scalp really, is um, let's just like the 8 a.m. pivot down there. It's for, just come in at 8 a.m., funny enough. So um, I'll target that, and then we'll see if we can get anything more out of the trade thereafter, maybe go for a bit of a run. If you know, there's, I have no... Um, I was looking at the market. I've been looking at the markets this morning with the guys here in the trading room, and um, um, there was nothing too major that I was particularly interested in from a day trading perspective. Um, so um, I'm quite happy just to um, scalp around a little bit here this morning um, and then get the video done because um, I've got to head into London today for the uh, investor show. So I'm just popping down there for an hour or two later this afternoon. Anyway, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, so a little bit fast analysis there and um, and we'll see how this pans out. Press pause now. Hit record. Okay, just back, and we're nearly on that um, first target already. So, like I said, it's a scalp. It's actually just hit the ATM pivot, but I'm looking. There we go into the 13s. Yeah, we got the first target. Boom, straight off there. Wow, well, maybe I could be like one of these guru traders on um, Instagram who just do these amazing trades all the time. They, they're multi millionaires, and they've been trading for one and a half years. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I haven't had a coffee or anything this morning. We're just having a bit of a laugh with the guys in the trading room. And um, and sometimes you just have to um, laugh. I mean, it's such a small trade. It's why, that's why I'm taking the mickey out of myself. As well as, um, obviously, some people as well. But um, anyway, first half is banked there. Um, for, oh my God, for a whopping £58, ladies and gentlemen. Right, that's going to just about pay my petrol money to get down to London today. But anyway, um, in all seriousness, um, what we will do with this um, euro is try and look, for, identify some other levels. I think the, the next level is 117.90. So if it can come down 117.90, I'll hold this second half to, and that then would be a nice um, run, wouldn't it? So from 118.20 or so, so it'd be about 30 pips. We've already risked about eight pips um, so um, we shall see what I will do though is trail that stop down now so let's um, let's bring the uh, the other ticket up and trail that stop down um, to about oh I say trail it down and the high is about 26 isn't it right okay so trailing it down to 26 there okay all right um, we'll just keep an eye on this and see what happens um, I'll press pause for now Okay, we're just coming into the potential target zone right here, which is the daily S1 pivot. I was just saying to the guys in the trading room, if you wanted to just take half off and then try and run more of a swing, you can. But I'm already short on a swing basis anyway, so um, um, I'm just going to do this for the for the trade. Um, I Hopefully it hasn't just hit the daily S1. It's got very, very close. Um, but... Um, 
don't think it quite did it. I think it's just nudged above. So let's now I'm pressed record as you can see. It's slowed down. The market always knows when I'm pressing record. Um, it got within a gnat's whisker of the target there this morning. Um, so I'll press pause for now because um, it's just we're just pausing. Okay, just back and here, and we're now just coming into 9 a.m. And we can see that the um, the euro is bouncing actually. So it got it was actually one of the guys who said it was 0.3 of a pip away from that target. So um, that happens, but um, we'll sit on it and wait and see. The stop's been trailed down to 26, like I said. So can't lose on the trade if it was to turn around and turn up, should I say? But um, it was all exciting at that point, wasn't it? Nice and early, and um, a quick run down and. Bosh, we were literally so, so close of hitting it. But um, anyway, for now, we'll just sit back and um, see what happens here. OK, just back and we can see the euro's done that bounce and maybe it rolls over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a limit order in um, on this. Uh, so we had that target down at 117.90, didn't we? Uh, yeah, um, one seventeen. So 91 would be what I would want to get um, t triggered out at, because that would mean that it'd have to go um, sub 91 on the um, on the um, on the bid price. So I've put the limit order in there just in case. I've just, I was just saying to the guys in the trading room, so I've got to take a little bit of a break. So um, just in case it wants to come down. Um, so um, there we go. I've done that. So we'll come back to this a bit later. OK, just back here, we can see the the, um, the euro is starting to roll again now. So what I'm actually going to do um, is I'm actually going to start to aggressively trail this stop down. Um, so I'm going to move that stop down to these highs at 08. So it was at 26. So we're moving it well into profit now at 08 there. Um, part of the reason I'm doing this, normally on a normal day, I'd probably just leave it. Um, but um, I'm trying to get this video uh, wrapped up. I want to get it done and finished before I have to leave today. So it would be handy rather than uh, me having to wait until I get home at, let's say, 7 o'clock this evening to get the video done. So I'm um, obviously I want to try and stay in this um, trade for this move down. But at the same time, um, I want to get the video done and wrapped up and out. So um, if I can get it um, done and wrapped up and out and all finished, then great. So anyway, so the stop has been trailed down to 118.08 now. I remember the entry was up here this morning, up at about 21, the average entries were. So um, it's just a case of seeing now whether it can just roll over on at this moment or whether it's going to hold up and just um, come up then and, and stop me out. So we shall see. I shall press pause for now. OK, just back. Oh, back in a second. The doorbell rang when I was just about to press record. Back in a second. OK, so um, as I was saying, the um, I was waiting to see if I was going to get stopped out here. I'm, I've got to go. Um, I wanted to get this wrapped up, um, but it's going to have to go out at 7 or 8 o'clock this evening now when I get back from London today. So have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. And we'll see what happens. I just, you know, I should get stopped out here. But it'll be about you know a small win for the day. Anyway, whatever happens, I shall leave you to it for now. Right, well, it looks like I have just been stopped out. I'm about to head off for London, so I'm going to start producing this video, but it won't get out till tonight. Have a lovely weekend. Uh, oh, what did... Sorry, I got stopped out. One thing I haven't done is um, covered off um, what was the result. So let's take the screenshot, because as always, I'm in loads of swing trades, so I don't show you those. Um, here was the result from this morning. So we had the two entries, which gave us an average of 21. That first one came out at 14 at that mid uh, morning pivot, and this next one I just got training stopped out at 08 and a half for what's that about 150 quid? Yeah, a bit small today, but um, would have been a 250 if it had got down to the down to that pivot this morning. Um, still could get down there today, but um, I've decided to uh, aggressively move that stop down because I wanted to get this video done, and as it happens, I still can't get it done now anyway. Anyway, have a good one. See you next week.